All right. Okay, guys. This is going to be a start to uh, a new series that a certain somebody on YouTube who's very simple inspired me to do. These are going to go over thing these are going to go over things that beginners should really learn first before even playing anything at all. So, you know, you know, technique and all that different stuff. So, the first video I thought would be a good idea to start out with would be uh, how to hold your sticks. Now, I'm going to go over match grip and left hand traditional. I don't know if they're going to be in the same video here. I might do separate videos, but I guess we'll go over match grip first. And it's going to be like super fast, real super fast. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the way I was taught in my high school by my band director is you want to first start out like this. Have your thumb shooting up against the stick and on the opposite side have your index finger there. And kind of and, and really get a perspective of how it is by letting all your other fingers kind of stick out. And then once you have that down, and, and make sure the fulcrum is not not too tight. Not too tight, but not too loose to where you lose control. You want to find sort of a firm point. And then once you get that down, you're going to want to let the other fingers just kind of wrap around gently across the stick. Again, not too tight, not too loose. Then you're going to put it at an angle. You don't want it, you don't want your hand to be just, you know, straight, just straight like this because you're going to hit the rim and you probably won't get a good uh, full sound out of the stick. And you don't want it too high because again, you're going to get a crappy sound, not going to get a full sound. You want it at just the right angle and kind of mess with it. You'll know when you find the, the right angle. That's a pretty full sound right there. And then what's fast about teaching this is, on the other hand, literally just the same thing. If you want to do it again, uh, get a perspective of putting your, your thumb shooting up against a stick and then letting your fingers wrap around like that. And then, and then for match grip, you may want to lower your drum just a little bit. My, mine's kind of high right now because it's set for more of a traditional kind of stick grip, but if I could kind of stand on my toes here. Uh, again, you want, you want them at the right angle and... and that's pretty much how it is. Uh, a lot of, if you want to play fast, a lot of it comes from your back fingers. So if you want to play sh stuff like... A lot of it's going to come from your back fingers where you're going to control the bounce just like that. Just like that. And now for tr traditional grip. I'm going to teach you the way I was taught. What my director always said was start your hand out just like this. Just flat out, pretty much like a starfish. And then get your other stick. And now for this part, you always had to find sort of a balancing point and, and you know, balance the weight of the stick on each side. For example, you don't want it way up here where all the weight's on the back because, I mean, this is kind of silly, but you're not going to get a good sound and it's, you know, all the weight is not, it's not easily distributed amongst the hand. And you don't want it way back here, it's the same thing. So you want to find just that right, just that right area where the weight is balanced. And this is for me personally, this is where I like it. Maybe a little bit right there. And when you're at home looking at this, uh, you're definitely gonna want to play with, play around with it, and find your own medium point. Because I'm not you, so I don't know where your medium point will be. And uh, yeah, so put it right there in the fulcrum. And then the next part is to get your ring finger and 
right, right on, like right near the first joint, in between the first joint and the second joint, there's little part of your ring finger there called a cuticle, and it's like it's a little bump, but it has like a little steep part of it where the stick can rest in, and that's what's cool about left-hand traditionals that there's like a predetermined spot for your for how how to hold your stick, and you just want to put the stick, let it just rest right there on the cuticle. You know, you'll know where it is when you mess with it. It's sort of it, it's like the perfect fit, really. And then once you get that down, you want to take these two fingers right here, and do, they're just gonna kind of go over just like that. And nothing fancy. You just kind of go over like that, real simple. And for the pinky, it, he kind of just curls up underneath the ring finger doesn't do much you don't really need to focus too much on him and and the thumb is gonna kind of press against the index finger but and my band director usually he stuck his out I don't know if it was just because he had a big thumb or whatever but his thumb would stick out way way high up and I tried that once and it didn't feel very comfortable so what I did was just kind of put it right there you know it's not sticking up too much but it's not you know anything like that it's just kind of perfect right there and then again you want to find the right angle to where you're going to get a good sound and that's pretty much it and you definitely want to develop uh, your wrist muscles because that's where you're going to play fast when you play left hand traditional like in drumline Def, it's definitely going to come from your wrist and maybe your fingers too. And be careful with this because I've strained my forearm muscles before. Not warming up and, you know, kind of playing ahead of myself, playing fast. And, you know, you just kind of want to take this serious because it does, it does matter. It is kind of dangerous when you don't take the right precautions. And so... <sighs> And then the same thing for your right hand, it's just match grip. We already went over that. Put them at the right angle, and then you get something like this. As you can tell, I'm probably super freaking rusty. I haven't played snare you know forever I've been playing a lot of drum set but yeah that's that's pretty much the basic idea of how to hold your sticks in match grip than traditional style and I, I get another thing I want to point out is uh, when you look at drum set players when they play left hand traditional they sometimes have more of a loose grip other than what I just demonstrated here and you know that that's totally preference. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a lot of guys, you know, play just weird looking stick grips regarding traditional, and you know, you just gotta mess with it really. I, I on my uh, rhythm method drum cover, I I play left hand uh, traditional on that, and it's just sort of transformed into something different. It's like so different from snare drum to drum set, so. Again, you gotta, you gotta go sit by your kit, behind your kit, and you gotta kind of figure, figure it out, figure out how, how it feels to you. And anyway, that this, that's how you hold your sticks, match grip and left hand traditional style. Um, I hope this was helpful to you in some capacity. But um, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed, and please like, comment and subscribe because I only have 16 subscribers and I would like more so thank you